damit halli, hallo, Hallöchen und herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Projekt hier auf Gamers Check LP. Ich bin der Onkel und wir zocken zusammen Batman The Telltale Series. Ja, es ist mal wieder seit langer Zeit ein Singleplayer LP von mir und ich hoffe, ich kriege das noch gebacken. Und ja, ich freue mich schon die ganze Zeit auf dieses Batman. Ich mag ja die Telltale Serien sowieso und jetzt habe ich Batman. Ähm... Jetzt kommt Batman oder ist Batman da und das ist natürlich, ich bin ein totaler Batman-Fan, kann man schon sagen. Weil ich liebe diese Figur Batman einfach. Und ja, hier sind wir im Menü und wir haben verschiedene Episoden natürlich. Wie in Telltale Spielen normal, wir haben Episode, wie viele Episoden wird es denn geben? Episode 1, 2, 3, 4 und 5. Okay. Den Season Pass, ja, der ist Season Pass. Mehr von diese Telltale, ja, auf jeden Fall wird, kommt da noch was Neues, Wolf und Mangas, den das bin ich auch schon immer überlegen zu Let's Play, das habe ich nämlich auch. Und ja, ich würde sagen, wir starten jetzt mal mit Episode 1, Reich der Schatten. Und als schockierende Anschuldigung laut werden, begibt sich Bruce Wayne in die tückischen Sümpfe der Politik Gothams, während Batman dem mächtigsten Verbrecherboss der Stadt entgegentritt. Goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Und los geht's, mir Freunde. Wir sind Batman. Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. <gasps> Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out.
Back to back, circle up! I know you're yeah. trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Da ja, gibt's ja nicht viel zu reden bei Batman, muss man schon sagen. Das ist halt wieder so ein Telltale-Spiel. Und das läuft alles wie ein Film ab. Da möchte man eigentlich auch gar nicht reden. Aber hier hat dieser kleine Kampf. Ich bin gespannt, gegen welchen Feind wir antreten müssen. Ich denke mal, im Endeffekt wird das sowieso der Joker sein. Äh, was? Äh, X plus F3. Boah. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. Catwoman, you're fine. Yeah. Stay where you are. You're under arrest. Choose. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Ja, dann gehen wir mal auf die liebe Kitty los. Kitty Cat. Oh, Kreis. Ich fast vergessen. Man muss hier bei dem wirklich auf... Das ist stylisch gemacht, muss man sagen. Und bam. Hm, Kelly. Kelly ist so frech. Wir wissen doch beide, dass wir das besser können. Äh, gleich. Manchmal, ja. Zack. 
It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Boah, was ist das für ein Scheiß? Nein. Ah, so falsche Knopf gedrückt. Oder doch nicht. Ding klauen. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot him. No. Wait! Ja, hallo. Ich erwische dich, wenn ich nichts mache. Ja, töten gibt's nicht bei Batman. Manchmal ist meine Reaktion echt schäbig. Hoppa. Aber echt klasse gemacht, muss ich sagen. Und es, ja. Es ist wirklich wieder so ein Spiel, wo man nicht viel reden kann. Das ist, äh, I guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Okay, die hat auch so ein Spielzeug. Ach, die hat unser Bett Dingsbums gedöns. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. So, wie ihr sicherlich an dem kleinen bisschen Kamen, Kammern flimmern und jetzt sowieso an der Trophäe erkennen könnt. <lacht> Wir spielen das Ganze auf PC und ihr habt es so auf den Tasten. Thank you, everyone. An den Tasten. District Attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. For too long. This city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. <laughs> If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. 
Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. And now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, a new face for Gotham, hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Okay. Harvey Dent is here not too fast. That means this is noch mal eine kleine Vorgeschichte zu dem Ganzen. Uh, started also noch sehr früh. Und dann den ersten. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes, and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Now, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Uh, yes, well, that was a long time ago. I've moved on. Of course, of course. Together, we'll help the whole city move on.
<laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Oh, Wayne. come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? Well, <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year-round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Spilled some wine. It, it'll come out. Stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. They never stain. <laughs> okay. You excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent mm. campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. <laughs> You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Gentlemen. Hmm. Perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Yeah, so the history would know, Mr. Falcone. Mm. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. I'll bring Bruce back to you soon. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. Christ! Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. 
You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happens to being a gracious host. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't the deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. <laughs> Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. He's gonna get what's coming to him. <sighs> okay, also die Geschichte wird hier nochmal komplett anders angegangen. Nochmal neu erzählt. Batman, The Telltale Series. Wir haben Harvey Dent noch nicht als Two-Face. Wir haben noch Capone, der da rumspringt. Wir haben, ja... Die ersten Gespräche von diesen komischen Einbrechern waren ja... Habt ihr ihn schon mal gesehen? Also, ist ja auch noch nicht großartig bekannt in der Stadt. Es scheint so in Anfangszeiten zu sein. Und ja, sehr genial. Die Geschichte mal wieder... ...neu zu erleben. It's me. Das Tolle ist, dass überall die Geschichte anders erzählt wird von Batman und Harvey Dent und Two-Face. Zum Beispiel in der Dark Knight-Reihe auf den Film wird es wieder anders über Harvey Dent erzählt. Wie in den Comics zum Beispiel. Episode 1. Reich der Schatten. Another brutal week in Gotham. A string of home invasions ripple through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entry incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. The notorious Batman was on the scene. But failed to secure the stolen items. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really? So, liebe Freunde, ja. 
Und jetzt geht das Spiel erstmal richtig los. Und ja, da würde ich sagen, ich drücke jetzt hier einfach mal an der Stelle Pause. Das ist vielleicht das Beste, um äh, keine weitere Quatsche hier noch weiter zu verpassen. Und ja, da würde ich sagen, das war der, äh, der erste Part von Batman The Telltale Series. Wie ihr schon gemerkt habt, es kommen viele Zwischensequenzen, wo ich wirklich äh, nicht wirklich quatschen kann. Das tut mir natürlich leid, aber das sind die Telltale Serien, da, die sind aufgebaut wie ein Film. Das ist nun mal so und da möchte ich auch nicht großartig dazwischen quatschen, weil ich finde das Erlebnis einfach saugenial und lenkt einen bloß ab, wenn man viel redet. Aber ich hoffe, das äh, ja, versteht ihr. Und da würde ich sagen, Sehen wir uns morgen beim nächsten Part. Ich freue mich schon drauf und da würde ich sagen, bis morgen denn. Tschüss.